And we join those of you who are watching on television this evening with the audio here of the broadcast from WPGW in Portland, Indiana, and FortRecoveryRadio.com as well. Fort Recovery just turned the ball over to make it uh, Blackhawks basketball. They lead by a score of 7-2. to Larris Heaston again, and she misses this one. Rebound comes down to Kennedy Mullenkamp of Fort Recovery. If you just tuned in, uh, the uh, key player for Valley is Maddie Heaston. She's had all seven of their points, two threes and one out of two at the free throw line. Inside Whitley Ramble, back on the right it goes, and it's out of bounds. Going to be Valley's basketball turnover, Lady Indians. Not a good start here for Fort Recovery in the Cal Pharmacy first quarter. Don't forget Cal Pharmacy will deliver your prescriptions to you on a weekly basis if you'd like to have that done. Just ask a friendly Cal Pharmacy pharmacist if that's the right program for you. Their weekly prescription delivery program. Here's a shot, a give and go, and a shot's up and in on the layup by Miss Cinewa Valley's Kennedy Stockler. And here's a steal by Valley and blocked by Mara Pearson. Now there's going to be a foul called. Uh, must be on Mara Pearson. That's a tough call. Mara Pearson gets called for the personal foul. And that's going to send to the free throw line, Taylor Woodbury, who missed that shot a moment ago. It was a block by Mara Pearson, but official said it was a foul. And uh, Taylor Woodbury puts the free throw up and in. It's now 10-2, to two, Valley leading. She will have one more. Puts it up, and it's also good. 11 to 2, Lady Indians down by nine here, and there's a ball knocked away and stolen by Valley, but they lost it out of bounds. Taylor Woodbury had knocked it away and almost retrieved it, but couldn't hang on to it. And it went out of bounds off of Taylor. So Fort Recovery has the basketball. In the middle, Namara Pearson. She'll come down in the lane, missed the shot. Whitley Ramble got the rebound and scores. Whitley Ramble has all four of the Indian points on. Two layups, it's now 11 to four. Valley with the basketball. Another little give and go, up and no good. Rebound comes down, back up, it's good. They are shooting pretty well here tonight. That was Kennedy Stockler scoring again, her second bucket. Full court pressure here by Valley, and they're gonna call a foul on Miss Cinewall Valley's Maddie Heaston. It's number one on Heaston. Into the lineup for the Lady Indians comes Carly Niekamp. And Grace Guggenbiller will take a rest. So the Lady Indians have Carly Niekamp, Mara Pearson, Kennedy Mollenkamp, Whitley Rammel, and Alexis Wendell in the lineup. Here's Wendell getting the ball underneath. Can't, can't keep her balance and goes out of bounds. Turnover Lady Indians. I haven't kept track of those this evening, but that's a bunch of them on them now. Now it's 13 to four, Fort Recovery down by nine. Valley with the basketball. Up the court they come, there's Taylor Woodbury. Still dribbling on the left side, passes back out. With the ball there was Allison Byram. Now back out top to Heaston. Heaston will shovel it over on the right side. Underneath, up, no good. Rebound comes to Kennedy Mullenkamp. As missing a shot inside was Brenda Price for Valley. Here's Mara Pearson driving, scoring, and she's fouled in the act of shooting. Mara Pearson will be at the free throw line. That is Mara's first basket of the evening and has a chance to get three points out of it. 13 to six now. Mara at the free throw line, eyes the basket, lets it go, and it's good. Three-point play the old-fashioned way. It's 13-7. to seven. Lady Indians trailing by six. So despite a pretty tumultuous start here by Fort Recovery, they're still not too bad a shape, only down by six points. Woodbury right side to Heaston fires. I think it might have been blocked by Whitley Randall, and they say it's out of bounds to the Fort Recovery Lady Indians. Whitley has her right hand bandaged up there like she might have a thumb injury. 
Up for recovery, threw it away. And it's up and no good by the Valley. And there's a foul called on Allison Byram, a miss in the ball Valley over the back on the rebound. Fort Recovery will get the ball back. Tossing it in here for the Lady Indians will be Kenzie Garkey, who's in the game now for Fort Recovery. Kenzie will toss it in here to Mara Pearson. Alexis Wendell gets it at the free throw line. On the right side, back over to Whitley Rammel. Back out top it goes. Mara Pearson has it now, down across the timeline. Back outside, there's Alexis Wendell firing and banks it in from three. Well, not the way you draw it up, but we'll take it. Alexis Wendell banks it in from three to make it a three-point game, 13 to 10. Fort Recovery trailing by three and Valley with the basketball. Missing the ball, Valley Blackhawks from Union City, Ohio side. Inside, balls loose. Byram can't hang on to it. It's going to be a jump ball called as tying Byram up there was Carly Niekamp of Fort Recovery. Here comes Kennedy Mollenkamp back in for Fort Recovery and Mara Pearson will take a little rest. Blackhawks continue to press full court here. They've done it the whole game. They've been pretty good at it, really. Pretty, pretty disruptive to the Fort Recovery offense. Here's Whitley Rammel. Stops, pops, and can't get it to go down. Rebound, Kennedy Mollenkamp, no good, and the foul's going to be called on Miss Cinewall Valley. They're going to whistle that one on... Uh, I'm not sure who that is on. Is it 13? Yes, it was on number 13, who is Brenna Price. Brenna Price gets called for the foul. Free throws up and good by... Kennedy Mullenkamp, she'll have one more. That's her first point of the night. This one's up and good again. It is now 13 to 12, only a one point game. Blackhawks with the ball, full recovery, pressing full court. Miss Cinema brings it down, and they throw it away. Picking it up was Whitley Rammel. Over to Alexis Wendell. Wendell down across the timeline. Indians could actually take the lead here. They were behind, way behind at one time. And there's a ball stolen by Miss Cinewall Valley. Down, up, and in. For the Blackhawks is Sienna Purden. Her first basket. Fort Recovery with the basketball over to Kennedy Mullenkamp. Left side it goes. Whitley Ramble gets it along the lane. There's going to be a foul called on Valley. Reaching in and grabbing Whitley Rammel. Going to call that one on Jocelyn Hoggett. Hoggett. Jocelyn Hoggett, who just came in the game. Here comes the inbounds pass from Kennedy Mullenkamp. Looking for a teammate. Goes out deep to Grace Guggenbiller. Right side it goes. Over on the left to Kennedy Mullenkamp. Fires a three. A little short, no good. Rebound, got a jump ball again. Mara Pearson and the Blackhawks' Sienna Hurden tied up there. And the already possession goes to Miss Cinewall Valley. Valley wants a time as Coach uh, Michael Page says, I'd like to have time out here. The score, it's Fort Recovery trailing Miss Cinewall Valley 15-12 with 1.23 to go in the Cal Pharmacy first quarter. Hi, this is Jerry Kalp of Cal Pharmacy, a locally owned health care pharmacy. When you're in need of a new pair of diabetic shoes, at Cal Pharmacy, our pharmacists can measure and fit your feet so both shoes and inserts can be custom to you. Cal Pharmacy carries Anodyne or Dr. Comfort diabetic shoes and are able to bill Medicare, Medicaid, or insurance. So call Cal Pharmacy in Fort Recovery at 800-686-2314 so we can help answer your questions or schedule a diabetic shoe fitting appointment. Health Mark, taking the time to listen and care. Rob Weaver here. Eric Catterley is our studio producer for the radio station WPGW. Ava Shane is the producer for the FortRecoveryRadio.com tonight, along with Neil Spencer. Valley has the ball. They lead 15-12. 
in the first quarter of play here on the Cal Pharmacy scoreboard. Foot recovery has not led in this game yet tonight. Right side, outside it goes. Here's a three-point shot. It's good. Banks it in. Again, not the way you draw it up, but Brenna Price banked in a three and makes it 17-12 now. Lady Indians down by five. Right side to Kennedy Mullenkamp. She'll fire it and miss. Rebound scrambled for. Mullenkamp came out with it over to Mara Pearson. Pearson will put it up off the glass. No good. It goes out of bounds. They say it's going to be Fort Recovery's basketball. No, now wait a minute. Yep, for recovery's basketball. Kennedy Mullenkamp will toss it in. Lobs it in. Back outside it goes. There's a shot fired up and good. About a 12-footer for Kenzie Garkey. Garkey makes it 17-14 to 14 now with 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Lady Indians trailing here by only three points. Valley gets it in the lane, and there's a foul going to be called on Fort Recovery. Let's see who they call that on. Grace Guggenbiller. That's number one on Grace. Tossing the ball in here for the Blackhawks, Sienna Purden. Down in the corner, back to Purden, back outside. Down to four seconds. And there's a shot they finally got off, and it's no good. Missing the last second three-pointer was Jocelyn Hoggett. And the score at the end of the first quarter of play, Fort Recovery Lady Indians trailing the Missinaba Valley Blackhawks 17-14. to We'll return with the second quarter of play. Thanks to Cal Pharmacy for being our first quarter scoreboard sponsor. Don't forget they have their Handicap Medical Equipment Center located in the Fort Recovery Industrial Park. If you need handicapped medical equipment, they have it for you at the Fort Recovery Industrial Park. We'll return in just a moment. At the St. Henry Bank, we take pride in taking care of you, and we want you to know that it's never too early to start planning for your retirement. Let's face it, in this day and age, you can no longer solely depend on Social Security and your pension to get you through your retirement years. At the St. Henry Bank, we're here to help. We're your retirement planning center, and we can show you the different ways to plan best for your future. Taking care of you. Stop in and see us today. The St. Henry Bank and St. Henry and Maria Stein, large enough to serve you, small enough to know you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi, this is Dave Hall from Hall Brothers in Fort Recovery, your local Case IH and Kubota dealer. If you're considering purchasing equipment from us during this next year, please talk to us as soon as possible. Right now, we have a lot of equipment on order for stock, probably more than we've ever had in the past. But adding to our list of already ordered equipment is getting harder and harder. So talk to one of our salesmen soon. Hopefully, we have the equipment for you already on its way. Hall Brothers, your Case IH and Kubota dealer in Fort Recovery. Now we move on to the second quarter of play now. Missing while Valley has the basketball to start the quarter. Here's Taylor Woodbury driving to the hole, and she scores. Woodbury with her fourth point of the night. First field goal this evening. And here's Valley stealing the ball away again. They're going to call actually a jump ball. And this Central Valley has really been aggressive on the press tonight. And Jake, uh, Fort Recovery gets the ball in the alternating possession. Down comes Mara Pearson over in the right corner. There's Kennedy Mullenkamp bombing a shot up and good. I guess he just gave her two. It looked like a three, but just said it was just a two. So Kennedy Mullenkamp getting a two to make it 19 to 16. Indians down by three. Valley with the basketball. Here's a pass in to Taylor Woodbury in the corner to Heaston. Heaston caused a lot of damage early, but she hasn't scored in quite a while. And Fort Recovery comes away with the rebound, and now we throw it away. Boy, I would hate to know what the number of turnovers is tonight. It's a bunch. Shots up and no good by Valley. Rebound no good. Rebound Whitley Rammel of Fort Recovery on the missed shot there by the Lady Blackhawks' Brenna Price. Kennedy Mullenkamp will go inside to Grace Guggenbiller. Biller outside to Mara Pearson. Right wing to Kennedy Mullenkamp. Tries to pass inside to Grace Guggenbiller. And it's knocked out of bounds by the Lady Blackhawks. Getting her hand on the basketball there. 
was uh, Maddie Townsend. Valley using a lot of players here tonight. Law pass lobbed into Whitley Rammel, double teamed. Back outside to Alexis Wendell. On the left to Grace Guggenbiller. Right side, Mara Pearson, three pointer, good. Mara Pearson gets a three. That gives her six points on the night. And the score is down 19 to 19. We're all tied up. Well, recovery playing from behind most of the game, and Valley just lost the ball out of bounds. Dribbling in there was, uh, I believe it was Heaston, and she just lost it out of bounds. Well, recovery puts the ball in play. Guggenbiller to Pearson, back to Guggenbiller, back to Pearson, back to Guggenbiller. Right side to Whitley Randall, up to Kennedy Mullenkamp, two on one. Down to Alexis Wendell, back out to Mara Pearson. Race Guggenbiller, top of the key, right side to Kennedy Mullenkamp, fires and got it. Just a two. Kennedy Mullenkamp, that was awful close to a three, but the official said just a two. And Fort Recovery takes the lead at 21 to 19. A rare occasion here this evening. Here's a shot from outside. It's no good. Rebound Whitley Rammel. And there's going to be a foul called on the Cinema Valley. Whitley Rammel took that rebound down with a vengeance. Full court press again. Mara Pearson takes it up the court. Over to Whitley Rammel, and her shot is blocked. And comes down to Miss Cinewa Valley with the ball is Taylor Woodbury. Woodbury up the court, right side it goes. Shots fired up and no good off the rim. Rebound Alexis Wendell. Mara Pearson racing down, stops, and she is fouled in the act of shooting. And Mara will be at the free throw line with two shots. So Mara Pearson goes to the free throw line. She's been there one other time, hit the only opportunity she had. This time she'll have two shots. Could widen the lead to four points, and the first one's good. And she'll have one more. Alexis Wendell goes out of the game for Fort Recovery, and Kenzie Garkey comes in. Mara Pearson eyes the bucket, lets it fly, and got it. Perfect at the line tonight, three for three for Mara. And she has a total of eight points on the evening to lead the Lady Indians. Blackhawks bringing it up against the Fort Recovery Press. Here's a three-point shot, no good. Rebound Mara Pearson, missing, missing the basket there was Woodbury. Here comes Kennedy Mullenkamp down for Fort Recovery, back out to Guggenbiller, she'll fire a three, and she rings the bell. Grace Guggenbiller gets her first basket of the evening. And that makes the lead 26-19 all of a sudden. Boy, for the longest of time there, Fort Recovery just couldn't get anything going. There's a nice shot up and good from the right side by Maddie Heaston. She had their first seven points and hadn't scored since, but now she has nine. And Fort Recovery throws it away. Whitley Rammel tried to hit Kenzie Garkey breaking down the far side, and uh, her pass was just too far out in front of her. She couldn't catch up with it. We'll be right back here at Fort Recovery tomorrow for the boys game tomorrow night. Fort Recovery will be, uh, here's an outside shot. No good by Heaston. Rebound comes down to Kenzie Garkey. Fort Recovery with the ball. Kennedy Mullenkamp right side. Back outside, oh, a collision. Gonna call a foul on the Blackhawks, I think. Back here tomorrow night with uh, Fort Recovery hosting Arcanum in a game tomorrow evening. Now the officials say the foul was on Fort Recovery. So out of bounds to the Blackhawks. Tossing it in here will be Kennedy Stockler. Fort Recovery's not pressing full court. Down across the timelines goes Kennedy Stockler. Passes on the left side to Jocelyn Hoggett. Back inside, back outside. 
Looking for a teammate. In trouble. Ought to be five seconds. And now Valley calls timeout to save possession as Sienna Purden got hemmed in with nowhere to go with the ball. This uh, second quarter is brought to you, by the way, by KNL Tractor Sales and Service in Fort Recovery, Ohio, your New Holland and the Kloss Farm Equipment dealer. KNL Tractor Sales and Service, State Route 49, south edge of Fort Recovery. Remember that scene in the Indiana Jones movie where the old knight tells him to choose wisely? Hi, I'm Connor Ramble with Fort Recovery Insurance. When it comes to insurance, choose wisely. Now, I'm not an old knight, but I do know insurance. From farms to factories to cars and ATVs, don't just spin the wheel and choose the first one that comes up. Insurance is too important not to have some local advice on what is wisest for you. FortRecoveryInsurance.com, your local agent for Ohio Mutual Insurance Group. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kenny Cano from k &L Tractor Sales in Fort Recovery, Ohio. Building the future starts with the right tools. That's why you should ask us at k &L about the hard-working, dependable, constructed equipment from New Holland, including skid steer loaders, compact track loaders, loader backhoes, tractor loaders, compact excavators, and compact wheel loaders. Every New Holland model offers clean, responsive power, built-in comfort and versatility that helps you master any job, any challenge, any time. Learn more. Stop by k &L Tractor in Fort Recovery today. Back here at the uh, Fort Side Fieldhouse, Fort Recovery, Ohio. Fort Recovery playing Missinaba Valley this evening. And the Indians have the lead, 26-21 at the moment. Trailed much of this half, but uh, lead by five right now. Out front with it is Stockler. She'll try to pass on the right, and the ball's apparently tipped by Fort Recovery, so it'll be Lady Blackhawks basketball. Pass comes in to uh, Easton. It's up no good, and they're going to say it was last touch by Fort Recovery. Inbounds pass comes here from Sienna Purden. Gets it in, back to Purden. Purden on the right corner. Hemmed in there by Garkey. Back outside it goes. Here's a shot in the lane, up and no good by Ken, Kenzie uh, Townsend. Valley got the rebound, and three-point shot is up and in. Three-point basket. Sienna Purden gets a three. And makes the score 26 to 24 now. It's only a two-point lead for Fort Recovery. Fort Recovery with the ball. Cross-court pass to Kennedy Mullenkamp. Back outside, Garkey. Guggenbiller on the left it goes. Three-point basket is up and good by Callie Wendell. Callie can do that. That makes the score 29-24. Lady Indians by five. And Valley with the ball. Over on the left side, back out top. Three-point shots off the mark, off to the right side. No good by Stockler. Rebound comes to Fort Recovery. Guggenbiller, Whitley Rammel. Kenzie Garkey back to Rammel. There's Callie Wendell with the ball across the timeline. Now she'll pass on the right wing to Garkey. Back outside to Wendell. Around the horn. There's Kennedy Mullenkamp. No good on a three. Rebound comes down to Valley. Underneath the, the pass led her too far, and she couldn't get a good shot off. And Whitley Rammel comes up with the rebound. Down comes Fort Recovery. We're a minute 40 to go in the k &L Tractor Sales and Service Second quarter here, and there is a foul called on Miss Cinnabal Valley. Check out the new endurance line of litter spreaders from BBI, available at KNL Tractor Sales and Service in Fort Recovery. Built tough with poultry growers in mind. New endurance line of litter spreaders from BBI, KNL Tractor Sales and Service. Whitley Rammel will go to the free throw line, and she will have. Two shots coming here. Whitley has four points on the night on two field goals. Gets the basketball from the official, puts it up, and no good. Rebound comes down. That was a one and one actually. Rebound comes down to Valley. Out front with it is Taylor Woodbury. Woodbury dribbling against Kenzie Garkey. Over on the right side it goes to Kennedy Stockler. Stockler back outside to Allison Byram. Byram tries to dribble inside, and she's fouled by Mara Pearson. 
I think that's number two. Yep, number two on Mara. So here is uh, Sienna Purden putting the ball in play. Spells her first name S-Y-E-N-N-A. There's a drive inside up and good by Taylor Woodbury getting her sixth point of the evening. Fort recovery being pressed. It's now 29-26. Valley trailing by three. Scramble for the ball. Callie Wendell over to Kenzie Garkey. Around the horn to Whitley Ram on the left corner. Back around the other side. Mara Pearson with it now. Fires and hits. Mara Pearson now with a total of 10 on the night to lead her team. Shot from the left side. Bingo. Three-pointer by Kennedy Stockler. That gives her seven points on the evening. And it's 31-29. to 29. Back to a two-point game. Fort Recovery leading and with the ball. Kennedy Mollenkamp left side to Callie Wendell. She hits a three. All of a sudden, everybody's putting the ball in the hoop. 34-29. to 29. Five-point lead here for Fort Recovery. Three-point shot by Woodbury's no good. And that's the end of the halftime. Or that is the end of the second quarter. And at halftime, it's Fort Recovery taking the lead 34-29 over Mississippi Valley. We outscored them 20-12 in that second quarter to take a five-point lead. At the end of the first quarter, it was 17-14, Valley with the lead. Now it's 34-29, Fort Recovery leading by five points. We'll be back to give you all the stats of the first half of play and talk about the reserve game that was won by uh, Fort Recovery tonight right after we pause for this. Need a better job where the benefits are great. A family-friendly company with competitive pay. Where people stop and greet me when they see my smiling face. Cooper Farms. It's more than a workplace. Locations in Van Wert, Fort Recovery, St. Henry, Rossburg, and Coldwater. Start at $15.25 an hour for full-time production. Flexible options available too. To apply, visit cooperfarmsjobs.com. Cooper Farms, it's more than a workplace. For mechanical work on cars, vans, and more, see Wayne Oil on Fortside Street, Fort Recovery, Ohio. Farmers, don't forget, Wayne Oil opens daily at 7 a.m. They have tires by Michelin, Firestone, Goodyear, and Mastercraft. Plus, Wayne Oil supplies home, farm, and industrial heating oil, too. Call Wayne Oil in Fort Recovery, 419-375-4256. Welcome to today's game. This is Paul Keels, and you know how much I love broadcasting the Buckeyes, but I also love high school sports. On behalf of the OHSAA, let's all do our part to set a good example and make this a fun and safe experience for the kids involved. I know this game means so much to the players, coaches, and fans, but the high school sports are about much more than the wins and losses. They teach life lessons that will be with the players long after their playing days are over. Good luck to both teams, and remember to respect the game. Hi, this is Jerry Kaup of Kaup Pharmacy, a locally owned Health Mart pharmacy. At Kaup Pharmacy, our compounding pharmacist works with health care providers to change the form of medications to make it easier to use. We add flavors, adjust the strength, or combine drugs to make a customized medication for the patient. Cal Pharmacy is located in Fort Recovery, Ohio, Burn, and Union City, Indiana. So stop in and visit us at calpharmacy.com. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. Back here at the Fortside Fieldhouse in Fort Recovery, Ohio. Lady Indians leading at halftime over Missinawa Valley, 34 to 29. For the half, uh, Fort Recovery led by Mara Pearson. Mara has two two-point goals, a three-point basket, and three out of three at the free throw line for 10 total points. Next, Callie Wendell has two threes for six points. Kennedy Mollenkamp has six points on two two-point goals and two out of two at the line. Chipping in with four points, Whitley Rammel on two two-point goals. Three points for Alexis Wendell on a three-point goal. And two points for Kenzie Garkey 
on a two-point goal. Also, Grace Guggenbiller has three on a three-point goal as well. Lady Indians didn't have a lot of free throws in the first half, but they did hit on five of six when they did have them in the first half. It's got to be a happy statistics for Coach uh, Holly Gone, Holly Gann. Nisawa Valley, they're scoring in the first half. They were led by Maddie Heaston, who had nine. She had her first, her team's first seven points to get them off to a flying start. She had two threes and a free throw. Actually started the game with a free throw as Fort Recovery had a uh, apparently an error in the scorebook. And so the official called a technical foul. Either an error in the scorebook or somebody's name was left off the scorebook, something happened. And the official called a technical foul on Fort Recovery to start the game. So Houston had the free throw, and then she had two threes right away to make it seven points for her. And then she got a two later on for nine points in the first half for Maddie Houston to leave her team. Seven points for Kennedy Stockler. She had two two-point goals and a three-point basket. Six points for Taylor Woodbury. Taylor had two two-point goals and two out of two at the free throw line. Five points for Sienna Purden on a two and a three. And three points for Brenna Price on a three-point basket. Again, it was 17-14. The Valley leading at the first quarter. And uh, I don't know, the uh, I forget what the largest lead of the first quarter was, but it was like eight or nine points that Fort Recovery trailed there at one time before starting to, again, claw their way back into the game. They lead here at halftime, 34-29, Fort Recovery with a five-point lead. We'll be back in a moment right after this. Your home is your biggest investment, and at the St. Henry Bank, we can show you how you can make the equity you've built up in your home work for you. With a home equity loan from the St. Henry Bank, you can use the money to make your home improvements, consolidate credit card debt, pay for college, take that dream vacation you've always wanted. The St. Henry Bank helps you unlock endless possibilities. Stop in and see us today. We take pride in taking care of you. The St. Henry Bank and St. Henry and Maria Stein, large enough to serve you, small enough to know you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi, this is Dave Hall from Hall Brothers in Fort Recovery, your local Case IH and Kubota dealer. If you're considering purchasing equipment from us during this next year, please talk to us as soon as possible. Right now, we have a lot of equipment on order for stock, probably more than we've ever had in the past. But adding to our list of already ordered equipment is getting harder and harder. So talk to one of our salesmen soon. Hopefully, we have the equipment for you already on its way. Hall Brothers, your Case IH and Kubota dealer in Fort Recovery. Ever try to buy insurance online? Hi, I'm Connor Rammel with Fort Recovery Insurance. On the internet, it's hard to tell a computer your truck spends half its life in a field or that you keep your jet ski in a pole barn. Here, life's different than the big city or suburbs. So are our insurance needs. As your local agent for Ohio Mutual Insurance Group, we can address your concerns and a few you may not be aware of. Insurance done local. It's what we do. FortRecoveryInsurance.com Need a better job where the benefits are great. A family-friendly company with competitive pay. Where people stop and greet me when they see my smiling face. Cooper Farms. It's more than a workplace. Make your own schedule. We're now offering flexible schedule part-time positions. To apply, visit cooperfarmsjobs.com. Cooper Farms. It's more than a workplace. Back here at the Fortside Fieldhouse in the reserve game tonight. Fort Recovery won that 48-38 to over Miss Cinewa Valley. Lady Indians were uh, led in scoring by Kennedy Mollenkamp, who had nine points. Eight for Caroline Ekamp. Chipping in with six apiece, Elizabeth Allig and Sage Luthold. Five points for Maddie Guggenbiller. Four for Kenzie Garkey. Three points for Callie Wendell. And then chipping in with three points was uh, Amelia Martin and two points apiece for Eva Colleague and Mara Winning. 48 total points for the Lady Indians. Uh, for the Fort Recovery Reserve team, they were led by Ingrid uh, Ojeda with 10 points. 
Eight points for uh, Caden Fritz. Seven for McKenna Gillizet. And uh, four points for Kenzie Townsend. We're at halftime, Fort Recovery. Leading the uh, Mississippi Valley Lady Blackhawks, 34-29. to Again, tomorrow night we'll be back here as Fort Recovery will tangle with Arcanum here at the Fort Side Fieldhouse. If you can't be here, we invite you to tune in for the broadcast. That'll be a 100.9 on your FM dial tomorrow evening around 7.30 with the broadcast here from Fort Recovery. Arcanum and the Fort Recovery Indians. Indians coming off a great week last week where they had two victories in their two games. Improving their record to 6-2 and two on the campaign now, heading into their game with Arcanum tomorrow evening. And they have two games coming up uh, this weekend for Fort Recovery. We're not going to be able to do either one of those as we have other commitments, but uh, coming up this weekend, the Indians have New Knoxville on Friday here at home and uh, will take on Botkins, and that will be on Saturday night here at home as well. School song being played here by Maestro Bob Stogler. He controls the uh, music between quarters and during the game and so forth. And we're underway here as Cinewall Valley has the basketball. Our third quarter scoreboard sponsor, Cooper Farms in Fort Recovery. Check out their many job opportunities at cooperfarmsjobs.com. Here's Mara Pearson on a steal. Back out to Guggenbiller. Top of the key to Kennedy Mullenkamp. On the left, left to Alexis Wendell. Over to Guggenbiller. To Mullenkamp fires a three. Doesn't go. A little too flat. Rebound comes down to Valley. Matty Heaston got the, got the rebound there. Right side shot is no good. Out of bounds off of Kennedy Mullenkamp. It'll be a given to the Blackhawks. Taking that long corner shot there was Kennedy Stockler. And she had actually an air ball. Kennedy will toss it in play here. Comes in to Taylor Woodbury. Shots fired up. No good. Rebound Woodbury. Fires it up again. Missed it again. Rebound back up and in. Allison Byram gets the rebound underneath for her first basket of the game. And that makes it a three-point game, 34-31. to Once again, Cooper Farms, our third-quarter scoreboard sponsor, thanks to KNL Tractor Sales and Service for being our second-quarter scoreboard sponsor. Don't forget those Artsway portable grinder mixers are available at KNL Tractor Sales and Service in Fort Recovery, Ohio. Right side to uh, Alexis Wendell. Back out to Mara Pearson for full recovery. Mara turns, fires, misses. Rebound comes down to Mississippi Valley. Underneath, shots no good. Rebound no good. And a foul's on Kennedy Mullenkamp. As they say, she committed a foul against uh, Brenna Price. Brenna Price has two free throws. The first one hits the back of the rim, bounces up, and down in. She'll have one more. But recoveries, Holly Gann clear, clears the bench. It's in a whole bunch of new players. Here's one up and good. Brenner Price gets both free throws. I would say Coach Gann might not be too happy with her starters as they are all sitting on the bench right now. Here's a drive inside and it goes out of bounds. Let's see if I can give you who all is in here now. You got uh, Elizabeth Alleg. She's been in before. She's back in. Sage Luthold is in there now. Also, uh, well, Kenzie Garkey is still in there. She's been in. 
Maddie Guggenmiller is in for the first time tonight. And Sage Luthold, I think, is in for the first time tonight. Inbounds pass is stolen by Mississippi Valley. Here's Woodbury firing, missing. Rebound comes down. Mad scramble for it. And it comes away into the hands of Callie Wendell. Callie's still in there now, too. Left wing to Callie Wendell. Back outside it goes. Chasing it down there was uh, Elizabeth Allig. She'll stop, and she's going to be fouled. They're going to call a personal foul on uh, Maddie Heaston of uh, Valley. Out of bounds for Fort Recovery, right in front of the Fort Recovery bench. Elizabeth Alleg tosses it in here to uh, Callie Wendell. Wendell dribbling outside. And here's a pass swiped out of the sky by Woodbury. She'll come down and score. Kaylee Woodbury makes it a 35-34 Valley lead, lead by one point. And now we have timeout called by Fort Recovery as they were trapped down there. And now here comes a whole new group back in the lineup again for Fort Recovery. Timeout, Fort Recovery. We'll be back after we pause for this. Hello, I'm Kenny Canope from K&L Tractor Sales in Fort Recovery, Ohio. Whether you work in landscaping, farming, or construction, New Holland 300 Series skid steers and compact loaders are reliable workhorses that stand up to any challenge you face. We at K&L Tractor Sales can show you the many New Holland advantages that allow you to work more efficiently, like the patented Super Boom technology that delivers maximum reach at full height and easy servicing. Stop by K&L Tractor Sales in Fort Recovery to see New Holland skid steer and compact track loader. So back in now we have Grace Guggenbiller, Mara Pearson, Kennedy Mullenkamp, Alexis Wendell, and Whitley Ramble back in the lineup. And Whitley just threw it away on the press. Picked up by Waterbury. Back outside it goes. There's uh, Woodbury. Woodbury misses the shot and rebound comes to full recovery. Right side to Grace Guggenbiller. Guggenbiller dribbling. Bass, bounce pass inside to Whitley Ramble. No shot there. Back out to Guggenbiller. Fires a three. Can't get it to go down. Rebound tipped out of bounds, and they say it went off Whitley Ramble. So tossing it in here for the Lady Blackhawks will be Kennedy Stockler. What recovery certainly had a disappointing year so far. One in nine. Struggling to find wins this year. Struggling to find any offense. There's a shot that's partially blocked by Fort Recovery's Grace Guggenbiller. Now there's going to be traveling called on Guggenbiller as she got the ball back. So that'll give it back to the Lady Blackhawks. Tossing it in here is Kennedy Stockler. Stockler looking for a teammate. Find, finds Allison Byron. Back to Stockler. Stockler has the ball tipped by Grace Guggenbiller, but got it back. Stolen by Mara Pearson. Here she comes, stops and fires and misses. Rebound comes down to Kennedy Stockler of Mississippi Valley. Stockler right side. Over on the wing it goes. Back out top to Woodbury. Woodbury has the ball tipped away, but she got it back. Woodbury drives in, fires and misses. Rebound, Valley up and good. Allison Byram gets a rebound basket. That makes it now 37 to 34. Valley with a three point lead. Fort Recovery with the ball. Cooper Farms, third quarter. And because Mara Pearson puts it up and no good, and she's fouled in the act of shooting. Mara will be at the free throw line. And uh, this would be her. Let's see here. This would be her first points of the second half if she scores here. Free throw is good. Cuts the lead back to two, 37-35. Cooper Farms offers a complete program for your swine, beef, and dairy feeds, plus professional nutritional support as well. Find out more about the excellent livestock feeding program at Cooper Farms in Fort Recovery. Mara Pearson eyes the basket, lets it fly, and can't get that one to go down. So she hit one out of two. Valley with the ball, leading by two points, 37-35. 3.47 to go here in the third quarter of play. Left side back 
in the lane. Right side it goes. With the ball over there. And there's a three-point basket by Heaston. Gives her 12 points now. Maddie Heaston hits a three. Inside to Whitley Ramble for Fort Recovery. She got the basket. I think that was uh, Fort Recovery's uh, Kenzie Garkey who got the assist there. And now it's 40 to 37, back to a three-point game. Blackhawks with the ball in Miss Cinderella Valley, calls timeout with 3.02 to go in the third quarter on the Cooper Farm scoreboard. We'll be back in a moment. For mechanical work on cars, vans, and more, see Wayne Oil on Fortside Street, Fort Recovery, Ohio. Farmers, don't forget, Wayne Oil opens daily at 7 a.m. They have tires by Michelin, Firestone, Goodyear, and Mastercraft. Plus, Wayne Oil supplies home, farm, and industrial heating oil, too. Call Wayne Oil in Fort Recovery, 419-375-4256. Once again, join us uh, tomorrow night. Right back here at the Fort Side Fieldhouse, Fort Recovery Boys hosting Arcanum. Should be a dandy game. Fort Recovery 6-2 on the year. Blackhawks put the ball in play, and they lost it. Kennedy Mollenkamp down to Mara Pearson, and she lays it in. Mara Pearson makes it 40-39, back to a one-point game. Valley with the lead and with the basketball. Here's Woodbury firing a three. Bingo. Taylor Woodbury gets her first three of the night. And it's now 43 to 39. Valley steals the ball again on the full court press. Shots up, no good. Rebound Valley. Knocked away, and Garkey knocked it away, and now it's a scramble. The, official let, the officials let it go, and Mara Pearson comes up with the ball. Down she comes, up no good, and a foul's called on the Cinewell Valley. It's going to be whistled on on Price, Brenna Price picks up the foul. Mara Pearson at the line, and the first one is good. She's usually a pretty good free thrower, and tonight she has hit on uh, five out of six from the line so far tonight. So I would say the chances of her getting this one are pretty good. Bounces the ball, lets it fly. And it is good. Almost a perfect swish. 43-41. Lady Indians down by two. Valley with the basketball. 2.10 to go in the third quarter of play on the Cooper Farm scoreboard. Don't forget to check out. There's traveling call on Woodbury. Check out all the job opportunities available at all the Cooper Farms locations, and there are many of them, including in this area, of course, uh, Fort Recovery, St. Henry, a couple of them. There's a couple more in this area, too. But check out all their job opportunities at cooperfarmsjobs.com. Cooperfarmsjobs.com. There's Maddie, Maddie Guggenbiller getting uh, hemmed in there and ball's last touch by the Blackhawks, so Fort Recovery gets it. Mara Pearson in to Callie Wendell. Wendell across the timeline. And this pass is off, and it's loose. Picked up by Valley. Carly Niekamp couldn't quite hang on to it there. Blackhawks with the ball inside. No good. Rebound. Fort Recovery comes up with it. Garkey over to uh, Mara Pearson. Kenzie Garkey came away with the basketball. Fort Recovery can now tie it up. Left side to Callie Wendell. On the wing to Garkey, and the ball's deflected by Valley, and they stole it away. Another turnover on Fort Recovery. Here's a shot up and no good by Houston of Miss Cinewall Valley. Maddie Guggenbiller with the ball, and she lost it out of bounds. Good defense there by the Lady Blackhawks by Brenna Price, and that caused uh, Maddie Guggenbiller to... Lose control of the ball. 
and she could never regain possession. Stockler will toss it in for Valley. Gets it back, fires a shot up and no good. Rebound comes down to Callie Wendell uh, for recovery. Now Lady Indians can tie it up again. For recovery down by two with the ball, 43-41. In the final minute here of the third quarter of play on the Cooper Farm scoreboard. And there's Heaston tipping the ball out of bounds. Maddie Heaston, a senior on this ball club. For recovery calls timeout now, so we'll be back in a moment right after we pause for this. Hi, this is Jerry Cap of Cap Pharmacy, a locally owned health mart pharmacy. The aches, the headaches, the stuffy noses. When you or your family are not feeling well, ask our caring Cap Pharmacy pharmacists about the wide selection of over-the-counter medications, vitamins, and supplements we have at Cap Pharmacy. Cap Pharmacy is located in Fort Recovery, Ohio, Burn in Union City, Indiana. So stop in or call Cal Pharmacy at 800-686-2314. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. Hello, I'm Kenny Canute from k and Tractor Sales in Fort Recovery, Ohio. For a tractor with big chore versatility and power, ask us at k and Tractor in Fort Recovery about the 140 to 165 horsepower T7 series tractors from New Holland. They're the all-around workhorse you need for loading, haymaking, mixing feed, and spreading manure. They offer choice of transmissions and unmatched versatility to power implements on front or back. Plus, you work your best in the quiet comfort of a Horizon cab. See us at k and Tractor Sales in Fort Recovery today. All righty, 47 seconds left in the third quarter. Fort Recovery with the ball. Coach uh, Holly Gann set up a play here. She wants to get this game tied up. Left side it goes to Kenzie Garkey. Back out to Mara Peterson. Right side there it is to uh, Carly Niekamp around the horn. There's Callie Wendell with it. She'll stop. Feeds off to Niekamp. Niekamp dribbling back out to Callie Wendell. Over to Mara Pearson. Down to 21 seconds left now. Mara dribbling the ball, dribbling, and they're going to call a foul on Miss Cinnabal Valley. I think they're going to whistle, yes. Taylor Woodbury gets called for the foul. Taylor's first personal foul this evening. She's in no problems, of course. Inbounds pass. There's Kenzie Garkey firing and doesn't go. Got her own rebound back. Good! Kenzie Garkey stayed with it and got her own rebound. It's now 43-43, to all tied. There's a shot at the horn. No good by Woodbury, and that's the end of the third quarter of play. We are tied up as Miss Cinema Valley outscores Fort Recovery by five points in that third quarter. Fort Recovery coming up with only nine points in the quarter and 14 for Miss Cinema Valley. We're at the end of three. We're all tied up where we started. 43-43. Fort Recovery and Miss Cinema Valley. We'll be back in a moment. Thanks to Cooper Farms for being our third quarter scoreboard sponsor. Don't forget, check out all the job opportunities at Cooper Farms. Go to cooperfarmsjobs.com. Cooperfarmsjobs.com. Need a better job where the benefits are great A family friendly company with competitive pay Where people stop and greet me when they see my smiling face Cooper Farms, it's more than a workplace Locations in Van Wert, Fort Recovery, St. Henry, Rossburg, and Coldwater Start at $15.25 an hour for full-time production Flexible options available too To apply, visit cooperfarmsjobs.com Cooper Farms, it's more than a workplace. Pretty small crowd here tonight on a Monday night. Not much of a rivalry, really, between these two schools either. And uh, still people recovering from the holidays. Fort Recovery has the ball to start the fourth quarter. Darkey will lob it in to Mara Pearson. Over to Callie Wendell, pops the shot, doesn't go. Rebound, fought for, and Valley comes out of there with it. Taylor Woodbury passes down on the right side to Stockler. Stockler looking. 
Passing to Woodbury. It's loose. Picked up by Fort Recovery. Garkey picked it up. Hands it over to uh, Mara Pearson, and here we come. Grace Guggenbiller, left side. There's Callie Window on a three. Ew, in and out, no good. She can hit those, but that one wouldn't go. Valley gets the rebound. Kaylee Woodbury with the ball. She'll pass over on the left corner to Heaston. Easton goes down along the lane, back outside. Stockler with it to Woodbury. Woodbury fires a long three. It's way off, and Fort Recovery will get the ball. Taylor Woodbury not shy about shooting the ball, but that one was way off the beam. She was open, but she was way out there. Whitley Rammel passes to Callie Wendell back outside to Grace Guggenbiller. She'll pop the shot. No good, but she's fouled in the act of shooting. And Grace Guggenbiller will go to the free throw line. First time she will have been at the line tonight. She'll have two shots coming here. And this could give the Lady Indians a lead back. And the free throw is no good. Several subs coming back in here for Valley. And see, I know Sienna Purden's checked back in for sure, and so did Brenna Price. Free throw's no good again by Grace. Oh, got it. Indians miss a chance to tie, or to take the lead, I should say. We are tied at 43-43. Six and a half minutes to go here in the ball game. Here's Woodbury passing over on the left to Byram. Back on the right side it goes. There's a shot, three-point shots, no good, a little too flat. Rebound comes down the valley. Back outside, three-pointers, no good again. Rebounds knocked away. Valley got it back. Up no good again. And now there's a foul on Miss Cinnabal Valley on Brenna Price. Hot potato, hot potato. Who wants it? Right now, nobody. <laughs> Fort Recovery brings it up against the press. Callie Wendell underneath to uh, Garkey, and she lost it out of bounds. Needed some, needed some stick them on her hands there. Another turnover in a long line of them tonight. Inside up and good for Missinawa Valley as Brenna Price scores. And there's a steal and up and good again. Let's see who got that one. Full recovery gets the ball back. Outside to Mara Pearson, over on the right it goes. Into Whitley, Rammel puts it back up, no good. Rammel got the rebound, no good again. Rebound comes down to Allison Byram. Fort recovery now behind by four points on that run they had a moment ago on, on, on Valley's basket, and then they stole the ball back and scored again. Now we got a jump ball call, Mara Pearson for Fort Recovery, and couple of players in there for Valley, including uh, Sienna Purden. The Sunwell Valley has the ball with five minutes to go, and they lead 47-43. Well, this will be a very disappointing loss for Fort Recovery tonight if they can't come back and win this game. Ball's loose, picked up by Valley. Taylor Woodbury with it out front. Here's a shot fired up and good. Allison Byram scoring. Down comes Fort Recovery, and the Lady Indians trail by six points now. Six points deficit, 49 to 43. Mara Pearson, right side it goes to uh, Kenzie Garkey. Back out to Went Whitley Randall. On the left, there's Grace Guggenbiller firing. A little flat, no good. Got a rebound, good. <laughs> Big rebound basket there for Grace Guggenbiller to make it 49 to 45. And there's traveling, no, double dribble. Double dribble called on Missinawa Valley. 
Maddie Easton checks back in from the center wall. So coming back in is Maddie Heaston for Miss Cinewall, and leaving the game was Jocelyn Hoggett. Hoggett got one of those baskets a moment ago. But Recovery having trouble again. Ball's knocked loose, jump ball's called, and it's going to go to Fort Recovery. Lady Indians down by four, 49-45, with four minutes to go in this game. Kennedy Mollenkamp back to Mara Pearson in the backcourt. Oh, thrown away there by Kinsey Garkey. Picked up by Valley. Here's Maddie Heaston. Back outside to Woodbury. Right side to Byram. Firing, hitting. Allison Byram gets a long two standing on the line. 51 to 45. Valley by six. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Fort Recovery does save possession, but now there's the ball knocked away from uh, Mara Pearson, got it back. Gets the ball up here to Alexis Wendell. Garkey right side to Callie Wendell and she scores. Callie Wendell gets a big basket and coach Holly Gann wants timeout. 51-47, Lady Indians down by four with 3.17 to go in the game. Valley has the basketball. Hi, this is Jerry Kauf of Kauf Pharmacy, a locally owned health blood pharmacy. When you're in need of a new pair of diabetic shoes, at Kauf Pharmacy, our pharmacists can measure and fit your feet so both shoes and inserts can be custom to you. Kauf Pharmacy carries Anodyne or Dr. Comfort diabetic shoes and are able to bill Medicare, Medicaid, or insurance. So call Kauf Pharmacy in Fort Recovery at 800-686-2314 so we can help answer your questions or schedule a diabetic shoe fitting appointment. Health Mark taking the time to listen and care. Back here at the Fortside Fieldhouse, things are looking a little shaky here for the Fort Recovery Lady Indians. Trailing 51 to 47 right now. And the Blackhawks have the basketball. Tossing it in here will be uh, Sienna Purden. And there is a foul call on foot recovery on the full court press. We're going to call that on Kinsey Garkey. Number one on Kinsey. It'll be out of bounds to the Blackhawks. That's only the second foul that foot recovery's had here in the second half. Lady Indians might want to work on that, try to get that in case they need to foul to get the ball back. Because we're down to three minutes to go here in the game. Blackhawks put the ball in play. Woodbury has it, firing and hitting. And this is not looking good. 53 to 47, Lady Indians trail by six. Mara Pearson brings it down, right side to Alexis Wendell, rolls over the top of the basket, no good. Rebound, Rammel, good. Whitley Rammel muscles her, muscles her way in there to give her eight points on the night. Here's a shot from outside, it's no good off the back of the rim. And comes down to Fort Recovery. Underneath the Mullen camp and she misses it, but she is fouled in the act of shooting. So going to the line is Kennedy Mullenkamp with two big free throws here. Kennedy's only a freshman. Been playing quite a few minutes this year for a freshman. Bounces the ball, lets it fly, and she got it. 53-50 now, three-point lead. This could make it a two-point lead. Kennedy dribbling the ball, lets it fly, and it is good again. Two big free throws for Kennedy Mullenkamp. She is perfect at the line tonight, four out of four. Blackhawks bring it up, full court press for Fort Recovery. They get across the timeline. In the middle, there's a shot fired up, no good. Rebound, Whitley Ramble. Ramble over to Mara Pearson. Fort Recovery can tie up the game. 
Down comes Mara Pearson, no good, and they say she's fouled in the act of shooting. Going to call that on Taylor Woodbury. Taylor Woodbury. Free throws up by Mara Pearson. It's no good off the back. She's usually pretty good at it. Boy, that was a big miss there. Here's one more, and this one is good. That makes the score 53 to 52 now. Fort Recovery continues to press full court here. Miss Cinewall Valley leading by one, and there's Whitley Rammel jumping in front. Uh, Miss Cinewall Valley's Brenna Price and knocking the ball out of bounds. Valley has still has the ball, putting it in play from the sideline. Now here's Taylor Woodbury at the center circle. Passes on the left side, Stockler. There's Maddie Heaston. Back outside it goes to Tally Woodbury. Woodbury dribbling the ball. Minute 45 left in the game. Valley on top by one with the basketball. And there's going to be double dribble called on Miss Cinewall Valley. And that was whistled on uh, the Lady Blackhawks, Maddie Townsend. The Fort Recovery will put the ball in play here. And Tamara Pearson to Kennedy Mullenkamp. Lady Indians down by one with the basketball. Down to a minute and a half left in the game. Ooh, that was almost over and back. And the one official did call it over and back. One official was standing right there by it. And Ben Kramer on the other side of the court. <laughs> Ben Kramer on the other side of the court called it over and back. And now Ben Kramer reverses after a conversation with the official standing right in front of the play. Ben Kramer says, okay, I agree. And Fort Recovery keeps the ball. So Lady Indians get a big break there. Now the coach of the Blackhawks, Michael Page, wants an explanation about it. Here we go. It was close, I will say that. Mara Pearson right side to Kennedy Mullenkamp. Lobs it in to Mara Pearson. And Mara threw it away. Knocked out of bounds, though, by Blackhawks. Knocked out there by Kennedy Stockler. So, full recovery will retain possession of the ball with 1.16 to go in the game. Lady Indians behind by two and not any longer. Mara Pearson puts it in. That gives Mara 17 on the night, and it's 54 to 53. Fort Recovery has regained the lead. Ball's loose, picked up by Taylor Woodbury for Valley, and she's going to be. There's going to be a timeout called by Lady Blackhawks. Timeout, Bissonnette Valley with the ball. They trail by one, by a score of 54 to 53. We'll be back after this. Hi, this is Jerry Kaufman of Kauf Pharmacy, a locally owned health mart pharmacy. When you're in need of a new pair of diabetic shoes, at Kauf Pharmacy, our pharmacists can measure and fit your feet so both shoes and inserts can be custom to you. Kauf Pharmacy carries Anodyne or Dr. Comfort diabetic shoes and are able to bill Medicare, Medicaid, or insurance. So call Kauf Pharmacy in Fort Recovery at 800-686-2314 so we can help answer your questions or schedule a diabetic shoe fitting appointment. Health Mart taking the time to listen and care. At the St. Henry Bank, we take pride in our community, its farming heritage and its banking needs, and we're there for you when you need us. Whether you're looking for your next piece of farm equipment or the purchase of seed, fertilizer, or chemicals, the St. Henry Bank can make sure you have the cash flow when you need it most. The St. Henry Bank and St. Henry and Maria Stein, large enough to serve you, small enough to know you. We take pride in taking care of you. Visit us online at stheenhenrybank.com. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Well, Lady Indians very desperately needing a win tonight. They've only won one game all year. 54-53, to 53, Fort Recovery with the lead. 54 seconds to go. Valley with the ball. Here comes Woodbury inside. Oh, missed the shot. Rebound comes to Whitley Rammel. Tough miss there for Woodbury. Callie Wendell on the left. Fort Recovery with the ball. 
And now timeout for Fort Recovery. Fort Recovery calls time with 40 seconds left. We'll be back after this. Hi, this is Dave Hall from Hall Brothers in Fort Recovery, your local Case IH and Kubota dealer. If you're considering purchasing equipment from us during this next year, please talk to us as soon as possible. Right now, we have a lot of equipment on order for stock, probably more than we've ever had in the past. But adding to our list of already ordered equipment is getting harder and harder. So talk to one of our salesmen soon. Hopefully, we have the equipment for you already on its way. Hall Brothers, your Case IH and Kubota dealer in Fort Recovery. Fifty-four, fifty-three, a one-point lead for the Fort Recovery Indians. They have the ball. Whitley Ramel tries to put it in play, gets it into Mara Pearson. The Cinema Valley pressing, trapping whenever they can get a trap. Chasing around Callie Wendell. Now Mara Pearson has it, and there's going to be a foul called on the Blackhawks. That's going to be whistled on uh, Kennedy Stockler. I'll put Mara Pearson to the line with one and one. Big ones here, one and one, very big. Mara eyes the basket, lets it fly, got it. She's only missed two free throws tonight, and she's uh, shot about 10, and that's good again. 56 to 53, a three-point Fort Recovery lead. Valley with the ball. A mad scramble, and then got a jump ball called. Whitley Ramble grabbed Allison Byram. Allison Byram, and she got uh, injured. Allison Byram, Whitley Ramble on top of Allison, fighting for the basketball. And uh, going to stop play here while they're attending to the injured Allison Byram. So uh, she gets up onto the bench. I don't know if they're going to let action resume here or not. Up onto the chair. Okay, we're set to go here. Blackhawks with the ball. And there's a offensive foul called on this Cinnabal Valley. They're going to call. Now, wait a minute here. Going to call it on. I guess they called that on uh, Whitley Rammel instead. So Valley will have the basketball. I'm not sure what the call was, but anyway, 18 seconds to go. Valley needs to score. There's a three-pointer by Woodbury. No good. Rebound comes to Whitley Rammel, and she's going to be fouled. And this should be the Indians' game as they lead by 3, 56-53, with 10 seconds left to go in the contest. Whitley Rammel. Will be at the free throw line. But somebody fouled out apparently. Looks like yes. Uh, fouling out of the ball game was Maddie Houston. Well, she got her team off to a flying start, scoring the first seven points for Valley. Ends up the night with uh, 12 points on the evening. Only had three points, though, in the second half. Here's Whitley Rambo. Good. This baby's in the bag for the Fort Recovery Lady Indians. They're going to win here, 57-53 to 53 lead right now with 10 seconds to go. This one is in and out. No good. Rebound comes to Valley. They need to score quickly. Ball's loose. Out of bounds. And it's off of Mara Pearson. 
And Cinnabal Valley will have the ball. Tossing it in here now is Kennedy Stockler. Stockler tries to go inside, tipped away. Valley got it back up, no good, and that's the end of the game. 57-53, the Fort Recovery Lady Indians win by four. Outscoring Valley in that final quarter of play, 14 to 10 to win the game by four points. Come from behind for the victory. Fort Recovery second win of the campaign. We'll be back to wrap it up in just a moment. It seems like the most entertaining things on TV these days are those funny insurance commercials. Hi, I'm Connor Rammel with Fort Recovery Insurance. When it comes to insurance, you need someone who knows the difference between insuring a farm and an economy automobile. As your local agent for Ohio Mutual Insurance Group, I know that our area and our neighbors have unique needs. When it comes to insurance, think local. And if you want a funny joke, I'll do my best. Find us online at fortrecoveryinsurance.com. Need a better job where the benefits are great. A family-friendly company with competitive pay. Where people stop and greet me when they see my smiling face. Cooper Farms. It's more than a workplace. Locations in Van Wert, Fort Recovery, St. Henry, Rossburg, and Coldwater. Start at $15.25 an hour for full-time production. Flexible options available too. To apply, visit cooperfarmsjobs.com. Cooper Farms, it's more than a workplace. Hello, I'm Kenny Cano from k &L Tractor Sales in Fort Recovery, Ohio. Building the future starts with the right tools. That's why you should ask us at k &L about the hard-working, dependable construction.